You may wonder why I'm making a load of videos on how a PMR446 radio sounds. I think it's just something that people don't really pay that much attention to and they tend to sort of just like ignore it, whereas it's really, really important. How well something transmits is always, you know, the range. Everyone talks about range when it comes to radios. But for a business, for the people that are going to use them, there's a chance that they'll always be in range. They're not really interested in how far they're going to go because the chances are that they're going to spec a radio that is going to cover the area they need. And if it doesn't, they'll have a different setup. So range is probably less important. Audio quality, on the other hand, can be vitally important. PMR or d digital PMR theoretically gives better um, a better signal to noise ratio, so the noise floor is lower, and you can hear your more audio more more clearly. I've never heard digital PMR, but if it's if it's anything like DMR, I'm not sure that's necessarily. Uh, the best thing because the audio just sounds a bit strange the vocals on it sound very odd indeed i the analog pmr frequencies 446 frequencies if you can hear someone clearly versus quietly distant in the background muffled um, distorted that can make a massive difference between clear communication and and being able to get a job done effectively and not. So I think more emphasis should be put on audio, on radios. Anyway, waffling aside, I did a test the other day on the Retivis RT24 radio. And, and I compared it to the Motorola T80, which has now been replaced actually by the T90 and the T82. I don't have those radios, so I can't do the uh, comparisons with those. And uh, I did, did it by using the record feature on a scanner. And I think the results were quite conclusively in favour of the T80. The T80 became across as much clearer, much louder, and just, just generally better. But I feel it was a little bit unfair, because having used the RT24s for a week or so, I know that radio to radio, they sound great. There is no problem with them whatsoever. So I figured that I would redo this test, and this time I'm going to just plug in my field recorder into the headphone socket of a, of a T80 in this case, it just happens to be the, the one I'm going to use to record the audio out, and I'm going to do the audio test again. I'm going to use an additional radio this time, which I now have, which is the Motorola XT420, so the professional level um, Motorola XT420. I'm going to do it with the Retivis RT24 and the Motorola T80. And let's have a look now at the waveforms. Let's go back into Audition and have a play around and see which one sounds the best. And see if we can, I just like looking at this stuff. I mentioned in the other video, I just love looking at this kind of thing. So let's get into that uh, Audition now and have a look. So I'm back in Audition, looking at the single wave file this time for the tests of the three different PMR devices. I've added markers at the top to show which bit of the wave file is sort of which bit of the test, if you like. And let's take a listen to some of those now. But just, just before I do, one thing you can spot here is that each of them has this god-awful DC offset when the um, push to talk, when the actual transmission kicks in, you get this massive pop. So if you are listening on headphones, this might be quite loud when it actually plays this bit, all right? It might be thunderously loud. In fact, to be honest, it might be even worse on speakers because it'll just chuck this massive big pop through your um, through your speaker. So you have been warned, but look at that. I mean, <laughs> the way it just drifts down here back onto the center line. Anyway, uh, that's just the output from the T80 uh, that's causing that. It's not a perfect output, is it? Firstly, the RT24 at 15 centimeters. Look at that volume level, really low, but let's take a listen. This is a test of the Retibus RT24 from a distance of 15 centimeters. Okay, and let's try the RT24 at two centimeters. This is a test of the Retibus RT24 from a distance of two centimeters. Again, as with the previous test, very low level. It really needs that mic level pushing up on this device. But other than that, it's pretty clear. I think it actually performs better in this test than it did in the last one. Let's take a listen to the T80 now. This is from 15 centimeters. The test of the Motorola T80 from a distance of 15 centimeters. And let's try that again from a distance of two centimeters. 
This is a test of the Motorola T80 from a distance of two centimeters. You can still see here in the uh, frequency analysis that we have the 67 hertz CTCSS tone, but it is massively reduced. I'm guessing that the walkie-talkies have on the on the headphone out have some sort of filters in place. It looks like they've got a filter to only allow audio through above 300 hertz here, and then the rest of it is just other garbage down the bottom, including this CTCSS tone at about minus 85 dB, so it is negligible compared to the previous uh, output from the scanner, which clearly had the tone audible. Right, so let's have a listen to the XT420. So this is uh, a professional grade walkie-talkie. Probably the same thing, really, but it does sound different. This is a test of the Motorola XT420 from a distance of 15 centimeters. This is a test of the Motorola XT420 from a distance of two centimeters. To me, that has a very distinct sound, and it's not as good. I have no idea whether this is because I was recording from a T80 and therefore the two T80s are matched perfectly or something, but the audio quality on this T80 device, and I hope the T90 is the same, I wish I could test that, is just spectacular. If you just listen to the two, I'm just going to play the, the two 15 centimeter ones side by side. So the 420 here. The Motorola XT420. And the T80. Of the Motorola T80 from a distance of 15 centimeters. Just, the T80 is just really clear. The, T, the XT420 has got this kind of boxy sound to it. it. I mean, it's perfectly fine, but it's just got this boxy sound to it compared to the T80. Let's try the two centimeter one, 420 at two centimeters. This is a test of the Motorola XT420. The test of the Motorola T80 from a distance. Listen to the clarity of that audio. But, you know, comparing to the Retivis RT24 here. RT24 from a distance of two centimeters. Clear, really good, just a little bit low on the audio, and you cannot adjust that in the programming software. The XT420 is a bit distorted at two centimeters. You can adjust again in the in the um, CPS software. You can change the mic level on the XT420. You can set it from low, medium, or high. So you could reduce that and mean that would mean that using the walkie-talkie at this sort of distance, this two centimeter distance, would be okay. But there you go. I mean, they're just a couple of uh, tests of different walkie-talkie devices, and uh, it does show. You know, they are they are quite different. Uh, the results from each of them. I think, really, they the guys at Retivis could do with adding in a mic level adjustment into their programming software. I'm sure it's possible to do, because you can program pretty much everything else with that device. So, and that would get rid of this, because I personally think that this usage distance is about right, you know, 10 to 15 centimeters. Roller T80. Creates really nice, clear audio, but this level, of the Retivis just too low. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you soon.